Hey guys, this is CK at CK Education, and today I want to talk about um, a topic that I have been asked about so many times over um, many, many years, um, mostly from moms. Um, I'd probably say, you know, over 95% of this kind of issue um, I have been asked by moms. Um, and, and this is the problem with boys, or not because boys are problems, but boys who become problems. Um, why do boys become problems? And when I say that, I mean, you know, parents who worry that they're worried because their son, who, who was so, who was okay, perfectly fine until middle school, for example, and all of a sudden they hit high school or they hit a certain age and, uh, or it might even be middle school, but at some point, um, they, they start rebelling. They start disrespecting uh, the mom, especially, um, and uh, or, or they're, they're doing drugs, or they're getting drunk every weekend, or you know they're into things they shouldn't be into. They're getting in fights at school, um, you know. They're so they're, they're flunking out of school. They're completely addicted to video games. When I say addicted, they're playing 10 to 12 hours a day sometimes. And I've had kids like this. Um, like they have no aspirations at all. They have no goals at all. They have no sense of self-discipline or uh, personal responsibility. It's just, they seem like they don't even care. And the very sad thing about this is there's an easy answer. There's a simple answer to this. Um, it's not such, such a simple solution if there is one at all. But the simple answer to this, you know, why, why is my son like that? I've always, over the years, at first I didn't know, I just asked a bunch of questions about, about you know, the son and about the boy and, uh, and, and they would tell me about, you know, the background and so on and so forth. And I started to notice a pattern. So I started asking this question and I'd always ask, whenever uh, a parent would call me and say, you know, I have, my, my, my son is um, rebelling and just not, you know, whatever, and having problems, I would always ask, so um, what is, d d does your son have a good relationship with his dad? Or, um, and, and uh, does, does he have a dad? Is a dad around? In, in all the times that I've asked this question, 100% of the time, not 99.9% .9 of the time, 100% of the time, the answer has been, no, he doesn't have a very good relationship with his dad. The one common factor um, among all the boys that have real problems and who just seem to lash out and have a lot of anger and resentment and, and things like this is that father is not home. Um, maybe dad's in another country. So the boy yearns for his father, but the father's not there. Um, or the father is home, uh, but they have a very bad relationship. Uh, they argue all the time. The father is absent. He's physically there, but just absent in mind and heart. Or um, the father has passed away. The, the father just, boy, didn't know his father um, or knew him, but lost him. Um, and so he feels deserted by his father. Um, but the, the bottom line and, and, the, and the core problem um, for most of these cases was, um, well, in, in all the cases where the boy was lashing out was, didn't have a good relationship with his dad. In the cases where the, the boys didn't have a dad at all, or the dad passed away when he was very young, um, those were not as problematic because the, the, the boy doesn't have, the, misses his father, but doesn't have uh, any resentment or anger towards the father as, as much, but or if at all. But in the cases where the father does uh, is there at home or is in a different place, different state, different country, and doesn't have a good relationship with the father, that's when um, you see the problems arise. So why do boys become problems? In a nutshell, because they don't have a good relationship with their dads. This is so important. Um, and, and that's why it's so important for dads. I, I make a, I try to make a lot of videos about dads and you know what sons need from their dads and so on. Like I said, I'm a dad. I have two sons. Um, I understand boys. I was a boy at one point, and I've worked with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, of teenage boys and girls, but a lot of boys. So I've seen this, and I, and I know their psyche. I understand you know how they think and, and what they feel, and so how important it is now, it, what is the solution to this? 
boy, this is a very, very tough one because sometimes the boys just ha just have to grow out of it, and sometimes they get to a certain age. And but、um, I think that if the boy can find a good mentor, that someone who who cares for him, someone who's a father figure. Um, and who can spend a lot of time with him? I think that's great. Sometimes it's a teacher, sometimes it's a,、uh, a youth director, some, sometimes it's a neighbor. You know, sometimes it's a friend's dad, sometimes it's an uncle. I've seen that. Sometimes it's grandfather. And so, but but whatever the case is,、uh, guys need guys, and sons need a father. But if not a father, sons need a father figure. And so I think that's so important. Now I, I see sadly a lot of moms trying to find father figures for their sons, and sometimes they hook up the wrong guy. You know, they bring home, or 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 sometimes they 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 thought that this guy was good, and、uh, the guy is actually has terrible integrity, and you see a lot of problems like this. So that's a very sad situation.、It、makes it even worse.、Um, but to the extent possible, you know,、um, you know the the. the Guys, they need a they need a mentor. They need they need someone who can be a father figure for them, who who gives them praise, who gives them encouragement,、um, and who tells them how proud he is of their accomplishments. And they say, hey man, you know, if you ever want to talk, you know, you can call me anytime. You know, this kind of thing is so important、uh, for boys. So if your boy is a problem, if you're a mom struggling with this,、uh, and you've talked to your husband many times. It's got to be such an impossible situation, but hopefully,、um, you know the boy will will、uh, your son will hopefully grow out of it or find、uh, another father figure whom he can respect and who is truly respectable、um, and who can give him some advice and encouragement and so on and so forth. I've also found that some really good books by good、uh, authors、um, uh, can be helpful as well.、Um, like John Maxwell is great, or Zig Ziglar is great, but. The problem is sometimes kids don't want to read these kinds of books. They're like, I don't want to read that kind of book. But、um, you know, but I don't know. There's there's a lot of things on YouTube and stuff too, I guess. But nothing can replace a real human being、um, who is there and that and that person, that boy thinks that yeah, that guy, you know, that that guy supports me, that guy cares for me, and、uh, you know, that person is for me.、Uh, and so I think you have to find someone like that. But. If you're a dad watching this, if you're a young dad and you have little kids, if you have younger sons, understand how important your role is as a dad, because this is this can happen to any kid, any son, any boy. So be there for them. In a previous video, I said they need your time, quality time, lots of time. They need you to talk to them, not just talk at them, but talk with them and share your heart. And、uh, and they need your affection, your touch, you know, and show them and tell them you love them and show them affection. These are such important things for boys. So I hope you'll keep that in mind. I hope it's helpful to you in some way. And again, thanks for watching this video. And、um, until my next video, I hope you stay well.